Hi right, boys, doing a very um, basic uh, project on this milling machine. I just want to make a, uh, a drawbar for it. The drawbar system that's currently on is old school. It's one of those where it's quite basic. You just um, put your tooling in there, wind it in, tighten it up. And then when you go to take it off, this is the part I don't like, you loosen it. Then you're supposed to hit it with a hammer. And that's the part I don't like. So what I want to do, I want to make the drawbar so it's captive. So it's, you don't have to hit it by hammer, so to release the tooling, you just simply unwind and will push the tooling out. And for me to do that, the way I'm going to do it, in the spindle here, the internal measurement is 14mm diameter. It's the perfect size to cut a 16mm thread, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap a thread into this. Then, then I'm going to use a, a bolt, drill a hole through it, and use the, the bolt to captive the drawbar. So once I get into the project, I'll show you exactly what I mean. But for now, what I'm going to do to, to, to tap the 16mm thread to give me better access to it, the motor's in the way, so I'm going to remove the motor so I can swing the tap handle around. So I'll start with that. Okay, so I've got the motor off, and uh, so now I've got plenty of room to um, tap that thread into the spindle. Uh, what I've done to stop the spindle from turning, there's a little notch in the spindle, and um, I've got a piece of plate that fits it, and I've clamped it into the vise. So as you can see, that'll stop the spindle from turning as I try to cut the thread. Um, I'm just going to position this phone, get the phone on a tripod, and then start cutting this thread.
Okay, there should be plenty. Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, cool. I didn't want to jinx it by saying I didn't, I hope I don't snap the tap, so I can say it now because it's all done, but yeah, you wouldn't want to snap a tap in that. But as you saw, I just went easy with it. And as long as you get it pretty straight, you'll be right. Okay. Alright guys, I just want to give you a bit more of a close-up of what I'm doing here on, um, on the spindle. Um, with the splines, the inside measurement is 23 mil. So I need to machine this bolt down to 23 mil and the, the highest points is, uh, is 27. Is 27 because anything that protrudes past this is going to stop the spindle from going down inside the quill like that and that and that needs that's going to travel down at, at least another 70 mil so that's one operation I need to do on this bolt and then the other and then I'm also going to drill a 10 mil hole to go through the bolt that way the drawbar can go through it and then i'll machine the end of the bolt and then in the bottom of the bolt just to give it a shoulder it's going to so it'll give it a shoulder so with 10 mil hole the drawbar will be 14 so it'll give it a shoulder of about two mil wall so when i go to um, get the um tooling out the drawbar will be pushing up against this bolt and it'll have like a two mil shoulder to push up against. So the machining that I'll be doing on this bolt, I'll do it off camera and I'm actually doing two of the two bolts because I'm going to have a metric uh, drawbar and an imperial drawbar that way I can use all my tooling. So that's going to get done off camera. Okay, I'll, I'll come back a bit later. Okay, I've got both these bolts machined. I've got to turn down to about 22 mil, so nothing's going to protrude out where the splines are. Got the hole drilled as well. Put a couple of flats on there. In case it gets a bit too tight, I'm going to loosen it with a spanner, 19 mil spanner. And um, so yeah, there's a screw on like that. And I'll just show you how now if that doesn't interfere with the spindle going down inside the quill there. So it's going to work fine. So what I'll start working on now, I'll start working on the uh, shafts. And, um, and that'll be done off camera as well. Uh, I'm only using my phone, and for some reason, when I'm using the phone and I'm doing any machine work, I get this really bad vibration. So eventually, I'm going to have to invest in a good quality camera. So anyway, it'll be done off camera, and, and I'll be back shortly. I've completed the shafts, and I actually completed the um, the rest of it as well. Um, this one, this one here's the uh, metric drawbar, and it's fully assembled. And these are the different pieces here for the Imperial one. What I did, as you can see now, this, this bolt is free to turn, but it's held captive. So 
I put some brass uh, bushings there um, just to take the load. So the only thing we'll wear will be the brass bushings, not the actual components. And um, yeah, so when you're when you're winding this thing outwards to to withdraw the tooling from the uh, from the Morse taper, a lot of the load is going to be sandwiched here. Then when you tighten it up, it's just going to pull up on this one up up the top here. And um, this top bolt head is is just grub screwed on. I did uh, it's at, done at 90 degrees. I'll just show you on the Imperial one here. It's just it's got a couple of flats for that to get pushed up on, and and um, I'll just get these parts. There's the brass bushing that goes on first, then the nut, the bolt, sorry. Then we got this one. And then the last one, which just gets grub screwed up. So it's all finished, really happy with it. The, uh, I've already used it and, and it works really, really well. So what I'll do, I'll reposition this camera and I'll just show, show you how, how it works and how now I don't have to use a hammer, which, which is great. Okay, I'll just reposition this camera. So to get the drawbar in place, it's as easy as this. Just screw it down. And it needs to be finger tight. And uh, as you can see now, now that that's screwed in, the actual drawbar is free to turn in either direction and it can't go anywhere. So now I'll put, um, put my drill chuck, wind it up. And as you can see, as I'm turning it, it's sucking up the drill up into the Morse taper. It's bottomed out, so now 16 mil spanner, just tighten it up. That's tight, and now I can use it. Put it in low gear so it's got resistance to when I undo it. So now instead of using a hammer to get this thing out, just use my spanner. So loosen it. And it's as easy as that guys. It's free to come out. And then want to change to a, an M to a, uh, that was an that's the Imperial drawbar. So if I want to go to a metric, it's only finger tight, so just unscrew it. Out that comes. In with the metric. It's really weird that in Australia these this, these machines actually came with the Imperial drawbar because everything in this country is metric. But anyway, it is what it is. And a lot of the tooling that I've been buying is metric. So anyway, so this here, the boring head, that's metric. So anyway, I've got both there now, so it's all good. So same thing, just as I'm turning it, it's pulling it up into the taper. bottom there so just tighten it up with a spanner it's 
pretty tight. Put it in the high gear. And um, and the cover can still go on that. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this project, guys, because for some reason I just wasn't happy just, you know, swinging a hammer at it, you know, so at least now I don't need to, so. And, and, and the good thing about this modification, all I needed to do to the machine, and you saw me, I got it on video, I just ran the 16mm tap up into the spindle there, that's all I needed to do, didn't have to drill it out or anything, it was already a 14mm hole, it was perfect for a 16mm tap. And, um, yeah, so... It was an easy modification, and at the same time, glad I did it because there's nothing worse than having to get up there and swing a hammer at it. So, at least now, all I'm doing is just um, using my spanner, just loosen that there. And it's easy as that, it's free to come out. So, yeah, really happy about that. And she comes. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, any comments, just put them down below, guys. And uh, if that's helped somebody out, then that's great. Okay, see you later.